Hi Pisces, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and these messages are general. So they may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. We have very soon clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Okay, what do we have for Pisces in love? Pisces in love. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. We have you deserve love. You are lovable. And we have trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So some of you I feel are single. And some of you are still involved with someone but are needing to or wanting to connect more with that person even if it has to do with communication okay let me see what we got here i see that if you're single you should definitely trust that it won't last long as long as you as long as you're playful and just light-hearted at first we have listen which is the high priestess and we have trust which is the full card and we have trust twice so yeah i'm getting this free energy whether you're trying to reconnect with someone or find someone new it's just saying like be really be really playful trusting and carefree i'm not saying being careless but just be more like because we have the fool here as you can see as well so let me see those of you who do have a connection you're dealing with, what's their energy towards Pisces? What's this person's energy towards Pisces? Okay. Some of you are in conflict with somebody. Five of Wands. And the Knight of Wands, yeah. Some of you are definitely not agreeing with your person at the moment. Especially if you're separated, there may be an argument that caused that. What's Pisces' energy towards this person? Pisces' energy towards this person. Yeah, some of you do want a new start. But, yeah, you want a new beginning with them after this Ten of Swords happened. But for some of you... You may still be unsure because we have this card here asking you to, to be more clear and decide what you want and make sure it's really what you want. So some of you may be thinking you could date them again or be with them again, but you could also move forward. There's a decision to be made. What's the energy of this connection? Okay. Didn't have to do all that. So we have... Eight of Cups. That's the energy of the connection. Oops, hold on. Okay. Yeah, there is some emotional distance going on between you and somebody in the tower. So there could this could have been a fight that was I think I just brushed brushed against the mic, sorry. I think there was an argument for some of you that was a, a huge blow up <laughs> or just out of nowhere but this tower and this eight of cups tells me something happened and you kind of distance yourself or you both distance yourself from each other emotionally but the feelings are still there because the cups are still there right so it's not exactly the end but here we have the four of cups so some of you, some of you are thinking like, yeah, I want them back. But then this Four of Cups energy, you probably think about it and you're like, uh, but why this and why that? You know? So let me look at what's really going on here. Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? What can Pisces, oh my goodness, could be a Leo or Aquarius for some of you. What can Pisces expect in their love life, their connections? What can Pisces expect here? Okay. Wow, 
so you're seeing your person as a five of cups they do seem upset without you well we got that five of swords conflict you guys must have really had a, a, a disagreement here really had a disagreement could be a leo for some of you or a libra or aries and leo sagittarius a lot of fire and libra so this person their their feelings towards you the five of swords they still they're still upset either they're still trying to prove their point or they gave up on the argument they do um they are in a place where they would want to communicate with this page of pentacles but they do still have this steam going like the steam hasn't blown off yet so they're still upset but they're still open to com to conversation communication um but we have the ten of cups is how they see you they still see you as the person that they do love the person they do have a lot of feelings for some of you could even have a family together but because of this ten of cups i feel like they're still open to talk even if they're upset still so and keep in mind this could be vice versa and some of you are just in this um kind of positive thinking vibe where you got this magician energy here some of you are focused on either manifesting something new or manifesting this person back or just focusing on you but we have this king of wands is how you feel about them so there's a lot of passion going on here this person could be a fire sign um but ace of wands energy between the both of you you both want to reconnect you both still feel that that passion and those emotions but we got this empress as what's well blocking so for some of you this could have been another person getting involved the empress can sometimes be an um a mistress so male or female this could be an actual person who came between you guys for some of you and cause this argument or just the assumption that they might be seeing someone else or you might be seeing someone else but there seems to be a fight about somebody getting involved in this connection for some of you it could be um pregnancy where you guys are arguing about pregnancy maybe you are pregnant but it doesn't have to be that this is just these are just the things that the empress speaks of but i feel like it's mainly a person that that um may have shown up and kind of ruined things we have the emperor as the outcome i just see you as really having kind of having an upper hand in this situation it's almost like you just said whatever i can i can live without you and i can do what i want even if you still have feelings for them but this person they're actually they're actually upset and wanting to reconnect why the five of swords six of swords yep yeah. so they could have just given up on the argument because they want to move forward in a positive way the seven of swords in reverse wow this fight must have been bad the situation must have been bad they do want to come out of it why the page of pentacles why are the cards doing this okay could be a cancer for some of you but they do want to come forward and speak and come out of conflict you see what i mean page of wands that page of wands five of wands in reverse in the chariot they want to come forward and they want to come out of conflict they don't know what they're going to say or how it's going to work but that this is something that they want to do Okay, why the magician? Why the magician? Okay, the lovers, yes. Oh boy. The lovers. And the death card could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Gemini. But some of you felt the need to end the relationship because of maybe cheating putting it to an end or you know maybe that was just your attitude at first for some of you it doesn't have to be that but i just see you really taking control like it's almost like you're like no i don't want to deal with that and you just walked away 
some of you it could be vice versa but why the king of wands why, why is pisces feeling the king of wands here eight of pentacles in reverse yeah three of swords in reverse you you really like stood up for yourself decided to just go and heal some of you may have just <laughs> really walked away from this person or just said you know i respect myself too much and you decided to go on but i really see you in this king of wands energy some of you may have fire in your chart why the five of cups devil mm -hmm. so you're seeing them as yeah five of cups in reverse as well the devil so you're seeing them as hurt because you know that they're still attached to you you see them as not being able to really let go and still crying over the past some of you i'm getting the vibe that this could have happened a few months ago and you're finally over this person and you're ready to spread your wings and you know that this person has been begging you to come back that's for some of you but five of pentacles yeah they they feel left out in the cold they want you back pisces they do and you see that why the emperor oh my god oh my gosh really i see i feel like this is your person's energy all over the place why the emperor's the outcome for pisces you really take back your power here Two of Pentacles. Some of you make a firm decision. Make a firm decision here. Ace of Pentacles. Some of you are making a firm decision. Um, and it might not be a decision that this person likes. But it's, just, it's a decision for your own good. Okay. We got the star here. Knowing your worth. Could be dealing with a... Aquarius, but it seems like you are knowing your worth here, respecting yourself and making the cut, making a decision, taking all your power back in this situation. Hold on a sec. What's going on here? For Pisces, give me advice for Pisces. Listen to your intuition, of course. Opportunity. let go within the next few months and you are ready some of you are moving on to new love by choice you're seeing a lot more opportunities you may have gone through a lot of healing put a lot of work in and don't see it feasible to go back to this person some, some of you don't feel like it's worth it to go back we have within the next few months there could be love coming into your life like new love I'm really drawn to this card that's here. Just you kind of being free and going out there and being playful and deciding what you really want and knowing that you, des you deserve love, you know, and let your friends help you is over here too. So, you know, whatever decision you make is really going to work for you, especially if you decide to move forward, even though this person does look really sorry. They don't look really, really sorry, but they look like they want to come out of conflict and really work on things. But for some of you, I don't see you wanting it to happen eventually. Some of you it could be vice versa and it could be you who wants the person to return and this person's moving on. But I feel like this is more your attitude over here of self-respect and moving forward if, when someone has betrayed you, okay? So Pisces, I don't need to tell you to make the right decision because you seem to already plan to, but it says let go. This could be speaking of your person, not being able to let go. But I see so much more coming to you after this part of the story with the opportunity card. It's like just follow your intuition and you'll be good because 
The high priestess is up here as well. And it has, I feel like your intuition is going to reveal some, some big um, plans for you and some opportunities. So best to tap into that. But this person could be a Capricorn for some of you with the devil. They could be Aries, Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Aquarius. These are the strongest signs that are coming through and Gemini and Taurus. But the main thing is your decision. I feel like the, the universe is really just waiting for you to say go for whatever it is that you want and that's it. That's why you got the magician here because it's really in your hands at this point. You can start it back up or you can shut it down. It's your choice. So Pisces, this is what I'm seeing for you. Check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on. Oh, I forgot you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And thank you so much for watching.